Okay, so today we will discuss SMKA, SABK, Dua Vibu, Dua Plo Tiga, guys. Trial SMKA, SABK. Alright, so guys, anyone have tried out this set already? Siapa dah cuba yang ni? Can I know? Can you type me if you have answered the question? Siapa kat sini dah jawab soalan ni? Anyone? Haida, God ah? Okay, how about the rest? Apa, siapa lagi dah jawab? Okay, so first of all, my format is like this lah. I will discuss paper one first, lepas tu paper dua lah. Kertas satu dulu, lepas tu kertas dua. Okay, so Haida, can you give me answer number one to ten? What is your answers? Everything. Cuba bagi jawapan. Satu sampai sepuluh. I will discuss any question you have problem with. So anyone got problem, you just tell me which number you want me to discuss. Then I'll discuss for objective. Okay, C, B, C, C. D, C, D, D, C, D, B, A, A. Okay, correct. Okay, guys. So, nombor 1 sampai 10, 1 to 10. Please refer to Haida's answer. Okay, Haida's answer is all correct. Okay, guys. So, now, soalan 1 sampai 10. Which question you have problem with? Everyone here. Mana yang kamu nak saya bincang? Number 1 to 10. You try to see the question and then you tell. Soalan berapa? Comment nombor sahaja. 1 to 10. Anyone? Izati, nak nombor apa? What number guys you want? 10, 8. Okay. Itu sahaja. Okay, nombor 10 and 8. Okay, saya mula 8. Okay, I start with 8. Okay guys, nombor 8. So, they ask you to find the value of x. Cari nilai x. Okay, ini adalah topik menengah rendah. Lower form topic. Alright, so you must use some property lah. Kamu kena guna sedikit apa? Ciri-ciri bulatan. Okay, so first of all. Uh, wait, let me go back up. Okay, jk is a tangent to the circle. jk tu adalah tangent. Tangent tu, what is the first information come to your mind guys? Apa info pertam pertama datang bila cakap pasal tangent? Anyone? Tangent means what you will put there. What is the first thing that comes to your mind whenever got the word tangent? Anyone? Yes, 90 darjah. Ingat, segi tiga sudut tegak, 90 degrees. Okay, but in this case, kamu tak boleh nampak 90 darjah tu lah. You can't see the 90 degree. But it's all right. Okay, it just tell you that it touch at one point, which is at point K. Dia sentuh bulatan satu titik, iaitu titik K. All right? And then now, uh, what else can you interpret here? Uh, okay, so one concept you all must know. Concept sudut dalaman dan sudut luaran. You must understand about interior angle and exterior angle concept. Okay, so guys, sudut MKJ. This angle MKJ, dia sama dengan sudut apa? Can anyone tell me? MKJ angle is equal to which angle in this diagram? If you can understand the concept. Anyone? MKJ equal to which angle? Cuba komen nama dia. MLK is same. Yes, correct. MLK juga adalah 30 darjah. Correct. Everyone here can understand this or not. This one you must know. Okay, MKJ equals to MLK angle. Okay, kamu kena tahu yang ni. Concept of interior and exterior angle. If you don't get this one, kalau kamu tak dapat ni, very difficult. You cannot solve the question already. Okay, this one must know. Okay, so guys, what does this symbol mean? Everyone here, please answer. Apa dimaksudkan dengan simbol ni? Bila nampak garis macam ni, this kind of line, what does it mean? Yes, same length. Okay, ingat, ML equals to LK length. Alright, so can anyone tell me what will be this angle? Apa sudut ni? Berapa nilai dia? If you understand the concept, same length means same angle lah. Sama CT maksudnya sama sudut. So what is the angle there? Anyone? Try saja. Don't be scared to give answer. What will be the angle here guys? MLK. Eh, sorry, LMK. Sudut LMK berapa? How much, guys? LMK. Eh, where got 30? No, 
not 30. Guys, what is the total angle in a triangle? Apa jumlah sudut pedalaman dalam segi tiga? Can anyone tell? Ah, huh? 360 ya. Yeah. Don't make me scared ah. Huh? Okay, yes. 180 guys. Ingat, bukan 360. 360 adalah jumlah sudut untuk satu bulatan. The angle of a circle. Triangle is 180. Jadi, sudut ni berapa guys? How much? Yang saya tanda tu. What is the value? Anyone can tell? Berapa sudut dia? Mereka dah kata sisi dia sama panjang. The length is the same. So what is the angle? Anyone? Eh, macam mana boleh? 60. Guys, what type of triangle is this? Can you tell me? Apa bentuk segi tiga ni? Everyone here. What is this type of triangle? Apa jenis segi tiga ni? Yes, isosceles. Okay, segi tiga kaki sama. So guys, what is the relationship between these two angles in blue? Apa hubungan antara dua-dua sudut biru ni? Can anyone tell me? What's the relationship? Anyone? Apa hubungan dia? Yes, it's the same angle. Dia adalah sudut sama. So guys, can you find out the angle now? Apa nilai dia? What's the value for the angle? Ha? Huh? Macam mana boleh 30? Ini bukan segi tiga sisi sama. This is not equilateral triangle. You must remember, this is isosceles triangle. Segi tiga kaki sama. So what is this angle, guys? Macam mana, Kira? Yes, finally. 75, correct. Remember, guys. Both of the angle akan sama. It will always be the same. Means this one also is 75. Dua-dua pun 75. Can you guys get it? Huh? Okay, remember this concept. Okay, so how, what about this angle? Apa nilai sudut ni? Can anyone tell? What is the value for this angle? JMK. Apa nilai dia guys? JMK. Kamu ambil apa? Jumlah sudut untuk satu garis. The angle of one straight line is 180. Means kamu akan dapat 105. 105. Am I right? 180 minus 75, you get 105. Because JML is a straight line. Dia adalah garis lurus. Okay, so can anyone tell me apa nilai X sekarang? What will be the answer guys? Faster, faster, cepat. Apa nilai X? 105, 30, yes, 45, correct. Okay, that's how you solve the question. Okay guys, faham? Do you guys understand? So the answer is boy. Okay, untuk soalan ni. Alright, so next question now guys, number 10. Okay, 10. Oh, Izeti tanya kan yang ni. This one you ask. Okay, so this one they ask, which trapezium is the object M prime under combined transformation JK? Maksudnya, saya nak tanya guys, this object over here, yang ni adalah image atau objek yang saya tunjuk anak panah tu? Is the arrow image or object? Yes, image. Ingat, bila ada prime, maksudnya image. Okay, whenever you see the symbol pelengkap, maksudnya image. Alright, so now kamu kena patah balik. We were thinking, find back the object. Alright, so how to find the object? Kamu kena lihatlah info yang diberi. Okay, J, translasi 2, negative 5. K, reflection Y equal negative X. Okay, so now, guys. Apa urutan saya kena ikut sekarang? Mana kena mula dulu? J atau K? Which transformation I must do first, guys? Yes, not confused, ah, huh? you all very good. Okay, kadang-kadang orang akan kata K dulu. Tapi kamu kena ingat, sekarang kita pergi dari image ke objek. Dalam situasi biasa adalah dari objek ke image. Okay, ah, okay, normal situation is object to image. So, object to image means, untuk case yang ni, object to image. The first transformation is what, guys? Can anyone tell me? Kalau situasi biasa, yang mana kena mula dulu? Yes, K. Okay. Then only J. Okay, this one is terbalik. Opposite. So this is the case over here. Kamu kena guna yang ni. Okay, so first one J. J is translation. Translasi. So you must do translation lah guys. So guys, bila saya buat translasi, can I direct 
guna nilai ni boleh tak saya guna nilai ni betul betul ni ya yeah, you cannot use the value directly apa kamu kena buat what must you do guys what should you add apa kamu kena tambah yes switch the sign maksudnya kamu tambah negatif dari yang ni akan jadi yang ni okay you add negatif untuk nombor ke atas dan ke bawah you change the sign Okay, so now negative 2 ni mewakili apa guys? What does negative 2 mean over here? Can anyone describe? Cuba huraikan kat saya. Negative 2 tu maksud apa? Yes, left, right. Kalau negative, dia left lah. Okay, this one, 5. 5 ni mewakili apa? Yes, up, down. So 5 is up. Okay, so now kita gerak lah. Okay, kamu kena gerak setiap titik lah guys. 2 left, 5 up. 2 left, 5 up. 2 left, 5 up. 2 left, 5 up. Kamu akan tengok, you will get your image B. Okay, kamu akan dapat B. Exactly bentuk ni. Tepat-tepat. So guys, can I ask you, adakah ni jawapan saya? Is this my answer, boy? Everyone here? No. Kamu ada satu lagi transformasi. Ingat, you must do another transformation. Okay, so what is the next one? Reflection. Y equal negative X. Ini adalah garis dia. Y sama dengan negative X. Okay guys, I want to ask you. Ah, kalau kita patahkan terbalik, adakah persamaan ni akan ubah? Will the equation change? Kalau saya pergi dari image ke objek? Everyone here? Ya, yeah, equation tak akan berubah. Walaupun kamu pergi dari image ke objek ataupun objek ke image. Dia masih kekal. Okay, persamaan jangan ubah pun. Okay, it will not change. So remember. So guys, mana akan jadi jawapan kamu sekarang? Can anyone tell? A, D atau C? Mana satu? Yes. Dengan mudah, jawapan dia A. Okay, D dan C memang tak boleh lah. Okay, C memang out. C ni dipaksi sama sebelum dipantulkan. It is on the same side of that axis before you reflect. Okay, donkey. Bukan juga, dia nampak agak pelik. Okay, donkey, so it's not the equation after reflection. A is the correct answer after you reflect. Okay, the distance before and after the reflection, you must remember, it must be the same. Jarak sebelum pantulan dan selepas pantulan kena sama. That's why A is the answer. Okay, guys. Any more questions? Satu sampai sepuluh? Everyone here? Apa soalan lagi nak, nak saya bincang? One to ten? Kalau tak ada, kita 11 to 20 ya. We continue to the next question. Okay, no more ah. So, can anyone tell me 11 sampai 20? Anyone have tried? What's the answer? Apa jawapan dia? I think Haida will give, I think. Okay, Izati pun dah cuba. C, B, C, A, A. C, B, C, D. Okay. Ah, uh, Izati, 11 donkey. 12... Eh, sorry. 11 donkey. Lepas tu, 14 boy. Lepas tu, 20. A. 3 silap. Okay. Haida, D, B, C, B, A, C, B, C, D, C. Haida, last answer wrong. 20 A. Okay. Number 20 is A. Alright. So, I type out the answer, guys. Lebih senang untuk kamu semua wujud. Okay. 1 C. So that everyone here can refer what is the answer. Nanti kamu boleh semak balik. Okay, this is the answer number 1 to 10. And then this is the answer for 15 to 20. Okay guys, so kamu nak saya bincang soalan mana dari 11 sampai 20? Which question you want me to discuss? Cuba bagi tahu nombor. 13, okay sure, no problem. You can ask guys, don't worry. Jangan takut, just tell the number only. Samo, what other number? Number 13. Let me see. Ya. Okay, this one angle also lah. Okay, dia melibatkan uh, sudut. Okay, so this one quite easy, tak sangat susah pun. So guys, can anyone tell me what is the relationship between these two angles? Apa hubungan mereka? How do we connect both of them? Eh, no, not 180. 
Yes, it's the same. You must remember, guys. Dua dua sudu ni nilai dia sama. Both of these angles have the same value. Opposite angle have the same value. Sudut bertentangan ada sudut sama. Sudut bersebelahan. Kamu tambah mereka dapat 180. Okay, the adjacent angle when you sum up, you will get 180. Okay, 180 adalah untuk bersebelahan saja. Contohnya, yang biru ni dengan yang merah ni. Jumlah sudut 180. Okay, the red and blue, you total up 180. Okay, so now guys. Uh, apa lagi persamaan yang kamu kena bentuk? Can anyone tell one more equation? Because kat sini kamu ada dua unknown. Kamu kena selesaikan persamaan serentak. You must solve simultaneous. So two unknown means you have one more equation. So what is the one more equation? Anyone can tell. 3y minus 14 plus 15x. Okay, very good. Correct. Okay, how you get that equation? Basically, sudut ni is also 3y minus 14. Okay, they both have the same angle. Mengapa sudut dua-dua ni sama? Why is it the same angle? Because what does this sign mean, guys? Apa makna simbol ni? The question didn't tell you, huh? but you must understand the meaning of the sign. Apa maksudnya simbol ni? Yes, parallel. Selari, you can see here, the question never tell you they are parallel. Okay, soalan tak cakap, but you must know based on how the arrow point, the sign. Okay? So this is your second equation lah. 3y minus 14 plus 15x plus 5 equal 180. Okay guys, so this is your two equation. First equation, second equation. Okay, so now you solve simultaneous only lah. Persamaan serentak. You can use substitution or elimination. Penggantian, penghapusan. Anything you like. Okay, so anyone can tell what is the answer you get here? Apa jawapan yang kamu dapat? This one simultaneous only. You all should be pro at this already. No problem one. So what's the answer? Anyone can share? Apa jawapan kamu dapat? Okay, you can choose this equation lah to start with. Okay, you can start with this. Y equals 15X minus 22. Then kamu gantikan kat dalam persamaan ni. You substitute. So you get something like this. 15x minus 22 minus 14 plus 15x plus 5 equal to 180. Okay, then you solve for the value of x lah. Kamu selesaikan sahaja. Okay, so if you count correctly, you should get uh, x sama dengan 4. You will get x equals to 4. Okay, if you solve this equation lah. Alright, so x equal to 4. Okay, and then you substitute back. Kamu gantikan balik. You can substitute inside. Uh, let me see uh, which one. Mm, you can substitute inside the top equation. This one. Over here. You substitute x equals to 4 inside this equation. Then you will get the answer. Okay, final answer you should get is 39. Okay, y minus x, ah, guys, remember, not y, not x. Mereka nak tahu nilai y tolak x, not only y and x. Okay, so you must do correctly. Okay, guys, do you understand this question, how to solve? Boleh faham cara dia untuk 13? Any problem? So, any more question you have, guys, 11 to 20? Can you tell me? Apa soalan yang kamu nak saya bincang? 11 to 20, sama. For those that give the answer just now, lah, maybe you got to do some mistake. Maybe you can tell. Okay, 20. Huh? Okay, we see 20. Oh, okay, this question is good. Okay, saya pergi 12 dulu. Number 12. Mm, okay, 3 go. Let me see. Huh? Okay, 12. So they want to find cos alpha plus tangent beta. So sangat mudah, Ain. Very simple. Boleh tak kamu bagi tahu saya apa coordinate Q? What is the coordinate for Q? Kamu boleh guna info ni. Others also can tell the answer, no worries. What will be the coordinate for Q? Anyone? Apa coordinate saya kena letak untuk Q? 
Sangat mudah saja. Yes, continue. Coordinate, I ask. Yes, you must write in the complete format. Okay, this is the coordinate. Okay. So basically, coordinate X dia kekal. X coordinate maintain. Tapi coordinate Y dari positif ke atas jadi negatif. Okay, from positive become negative. X maintain the same. Okay, guys. So now, apa kamu kena buat? You draw out the triangle. O, P, Q. Okay, kamu kena cari sudut ni. You must find out this angle. 0.87, 0.50. Okay, guys. Sin, cos atau tan. Which one do we use? Let's say this angle is theta lah. Jadi, saya guna sin, cos atau tan untuk cari theta. What trigger function? Sin, cos or tangent? Yes, tangent. Because you have opposite and adjacent. Okay, bertentangan dan bersebelahan. Then you can find out lah. Tangent theta equal to 0 0.50 over 0 0.87. So, kalau kamu kira guna calculator, you should get theta is 29.54 degree. Okay, nilai theta ni yang ini. So, guys, siapa boleh bagi tahu saya? Alpha sama dengan berapa? Apa nilai alpha saya? How do I find alpha? Sekarang saya dah dapat yang ni. So how to count alpha? Uh, yes, but you can take you can take 180 minus this answer. 180 tolak jawapan ni to get the alpha. Haida, you must remember. You see the question carefully. It is actually this only. Sudut ni sahaja alpha. Only this angle. Not this one. Okay, this is not alpha. Soalan never tell like this. Okay, it's only this small part yang mereka label. Okay, so guys, 180 minus 29.54, you will get alpha. So alpha is equal to alpha sama dengan 150.46. Okay, if you count, you will get the answer. 180 tolak 29.54. Okay, how about beta guys? Can anyone tell me how to count beta please? Macam mana kira beta? Kamu boleh wujuk yang ni. It's a 90 degree. So how? Macam mana kira? Wait, wait, wait. Slowly. Uh, I can take from coordinates. Uh, no, you can directly use this info actually. 29.54. 330 for what? Beta? Are you meaning for beta? Eh, where got? Guys, you see carefully. Beta is only this one. Beta nilai dia yang ni saja. How can it be 330.48? Tak mungkin. 330.48 means dari sini kamu ukur ke sini. Yes, 330.48. But the question now only ask this blue part. Yang biru saja, So it's not 330.48. Okay. So simple. Very simple. Beta. You just take 90 minus 29.54. You will get beta. Can everyone understand this? Boleh tak? Semua kat sini faham. Because quadrant is 90 degree. Your reference angle sudut wujukan over here is 29.54. That's why 90 minus 29.54. Okay, you count the answer. You should get 60.46. Okay, jawapan dia. Okay, guys. Can you get it? So, basically, you must refer back the question lah. What they want you to answer. Always answer back the question. Okay, question asks you. Cos alpha plus tangent beta. Jadi, macam mana? Cos alpha tadi, you got... 150.46 beta you got 60.46 okay so how to solve this basically lah just tekan calculator kamu akan dapat jawapan tak perlu kira dengan tepat just tekan calculator saja use this okay so that you won't make mistake calculator pasti bagi jawapan betul it will always give the right answer so if you count correctly you should get boy as your answer 0 0.87 Okay, guys?
So just now people ask, right? Uh which part you don't understand just now? Someone asked, wait, uh. Uh Kishan. Which part is it? Basically, la. First you focus on the OPQ triangle. This one is 0 0.87. This one is 0 0.50. Am I right? Can you understand this first? This one you must know. Okay, can? Then you must find this angle. Let's say I label theta. La. Okay, so tangent theta is 0 0.50 divide 0 0.87. Can you understand this? Okay, so can you get the theta? I think press calculator only lah, you can get. Okay, you will get theta is 29.54. Okay, so this angle, sudut ni, is 29.54, this small angle here. Okay, so now, how to count alpha? You just take 180 minus 29.54. How to count beta? 90 minus 29.54. Okay, that's why you must get this info first. This is the main thing. Kamu kena dapat yang ni dulu. Then only you can find alpha and beta. Okay, can you get it? Okay, good. So, any more question, guys? Uh, number 11 to 20. I think just now, Izati cakap 20, right? Okay, let's go to 20. 20. Okay, this question a bit confusing because of the language, I will say. Okay, bahasa dia. You must be careful with the words. Okay, not the mathematic part. Okay, 15 first. 15. Oh, network in graph theory. Okay. Uh, let me see which one, what they ask. Okay, they ask difference. Okay, perbezaan antara jarak terpanjang dan terpendek. Difference between longest and shortest. So now guys, can anyone tell me what is the longest distance here? From point A to E. Ah. Maksudnya, kamu mula kat A, kamu akhir kat E. Start at A and at E. So which one is the longest distance? Can anyone type me the, or you give the final answer lah, if you can solve directly. What's the longest? Yang kamu boleh lihat dari yang ni. Answer is A, kan? Uh, yes, answer is A for this question. What do you get for your longest distance, Haida? Uh, yang lain, the rest who have tried also can, I mean, those who want to try now also can try. Kamu cuba comment. What is your longest distance? Let's say this question come in your SPM lah, guys. Conto, you have to do it by yourself. So, this is the scenario. A, B, C, D, E for longest. Let me check. Huh? A, B, C, D, E. Let me plus. 7 plus 7.7. Uh, no, not the longest. A, B, C, D, E is not the longest. Can try again. Anyone else? This one really depends on you guys, how you can see the root. So if you cannot see the root, very difficult one. A, C, B, F, E. Yes, correct, Kishan. Okay, Kishan answer is correct. A, C, B, F, E. Okay, actually, right, guys, the best way to solve this question is trial and error. Kamu kena cuba dan cuba lagi sekali. Okay, there is no other method, actually, I can think of. This is trial and error only. Okay, sometimes you won't get the answer, so you try again, like that only. Okay, so the longest distance according to this route lah. Is 25.7 km, jawapan dia. But make sure, your question 1 in meter. So you convert means, kamu darab dengan 1000 times 1000. So this is your answer, 25700 meter. Okay, so how about the shortest distance guys? Siapa boleh bagi tau? What is the route for the shortest distance? Jarak terpendek. This one I think should be quite easy. Yes, ACE, correct. So the blue one, is your shortest distance. Okay, very senang lah untuk tengok. Eh, eh Sad, sorry, sorry. This one. Not this one. Wait, ah, uh. I go and draw wrongly. Okay, direct to here. Okay, so your shortest distance is 14.8 km. Dalam meter, kalau kamu convert, 14.800 meter. Darab 1000. Okay, so now they ask perbezaan, difference. So, kamu ambil yang ni, take this one, minus this one. You will get A as your answer. Okay, guys? Are you clear? 
Boleh faham cara saya buat yang ni? This one only trial and error guys, trust me. Tak ada concept. You have to try and error only. That's it. This chapter is like that. Bab ni macam ni. Okay, it's about how to say ya. Yeah? It's based on instinct lah. Kalau kamu dah banyak buat soalan dari bab ni, if you do a lot of question on this chapter, your instinct will tell you this will be the longest book. Ah, something like that. Dia datang dari diri. Ah, because you got experience di macam mana dia akan tengok untuk kira yang terpanjang. Okay, so it come from experience. Alright? So, next one. Uh, eh, sorry. Wait, ah. Uh. Okay, just now people ask 20, right? Is that it? Tunggu lama dah. Tak bincang soalan 20. Okay, this question, right? Need on language. Okay, kamu kena lihat uh, apa perkataan dia. Okay, got two people here. Fate. Okay, so they say that K plus 5 days, dia dapat K squared tolak 25. Ringgit lah. So they ask daily. Daily maksudnya apa guys? What is the meaning of daily? One day. So you must do the ratio. Kamu kena buat nisbah. So how to count one day? K square minus 25 divide K plus 5. Am I right? So guys, siap, macam mana saya boleh tukar yang ni? How can I change this? What can I factorize? Macam mana saya boleh faktorkan dia? Can anyone type the answer? This one is quadratic. Yes, correct. Eh, bukan kembangkan. It is mean faktorkan. Kamu jadi dia lembih ringkas. Ah, Kamu faktorkan yang ni. K minus 5, K plus 5. Supaya kamu boleh potong dengan dengan yang bawah. You cut the bottom, the denominator. Can you see? K plus 5, K plus 5 potong. So you left with K minus 5. Okay? Settle for one person. But you must still find another person lah. Kamu kena cari untuk Nukman. Okay, Nukman, this is the info. Okay, K plus 5 square. This one is the money. Eh? K plus 5 square. For K square minus 5 square day. Sun is day. Bilangan hari. So, satu hari, one day, you will get K plus 5 square bahagi dengan K square minus 5 square. Am I right? Okay, so guys, macam mana saya boleh ubah yang ni? How can I switch this? Can anyone tell the answer? Apa bentuk lain saya boleh tulis yang saya bulatkan? Ah, uh, let me check. Yes, the answer is A, correct. Yes, you can write as K square minus 25, some more. If K square minus 25, kamu akan dapat yang ni lah. Yang kamu tulis ke atas. Okay, exactly the same. So, K plus 5, K plus 5, divide by K plus 5, K minus 5. Okay, guys, kamu boleh potong. Tengok. So, you left with this. Ini adalah jawapan kamu untuk... Nukman. Okay, Nukman's daily salary lah. Okay, secara harian. So now what they ask guys? Product. Product means what guys? Can anyone tell me? Apa maksud product? Yes, darab. Okay, remember. So basically, you just take this one. Darab dengan uh, kan mana? Yang ni. Okay, so what's the answer? Yang ni kamu potong lah kalau darab. So final answer? K plus 5. That's why your answer is A. Can you understand guys? Boleh faham? So this how you solve lah, step by step. Uh, okay. So any more question? 11 to 20? Kalau tak, kita pergi 21 to 30 ya. Yeah? Okay, so anyone dah cuba? Boleh bagi jawapan? 21 to 30, saya boleh check. C, D, A, A, A. C, C, D, C, C. Okay, Haida, very good. Try one mistake only. Number 25 is donkey. Okay, so the answer. Anyone else want to try? Ada lagi? If no more, I'll give the answer already. Huh? 21, C. Ah, okay, you can. You done already. Huh? If you are new here, you may be not yet done. C, D, Never mind, never mind. It's okay. No worries. I will just see those who done already. I'll share the answer. C, D, A, 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 B, C, C, A. Is that it? Kamu tinggal satu nombor ke? Tak ada 10 abjad? 
C D A A B C Tak apalah saya type untuk kamu ah mungkin kamu tertinggal This is the answers C D C C okay This the answers guys 21 to 30 so please refer the answer Okay So guys, any question? 21 to 30. Siapa mana nak saya bincang? Soalan mana? 21 to 30. Boleh bagi tahu nombor. Because you all study sejarah, I think that's why your brain not draining already. Definitely. Am I right, guys? Semua kat sini belajar sejarah kan sekarang sebelum matematik. That's why your sejarah dan maths dia tak boleh combine. Very difficult because sejarah is memorizing. Mathematics is practical. You must do. Ah, so it's totally opposite. They are button tangan. Twenty five, okay. Twenty five. Eh, mengapa dua puluh lima ni ada masalah? Let me see. Oh, okay, okay. Percentage lah. Okay. This question actually lower form lah. Lower form punya. Okay, it might look like upper form, tetapi is lower form. Okay, so they tell you that July to December. The number of smartphone is 2.5 percent less than January to June. Okay, so katakan bilangan telefon yang dijual dari January sampai Jun 100 percent. So can anyone tell me bilangan telefon untuk Julai sampai Disember berapa peratus? What's the answer? How many percentage for Julai to Disember? They say 2.5 percent less. So means what's the answer? Yes, correct lah. Hundred minus twenty five minus two point five. You will get ninety seven point five percent. Okay. So next, they say that profit earn each smartphone. Maksudnya satu telefon bimbit RM three five oh one only three hundred fifty. So they want total profit in the year. Means from January until December, what is the profit? So you must know what guys. Kamu kena tahu bilangan telefon yang ada lah. Baru kamu boleh kira profit dia. Okay, so now you have to refer to the bar chart. Okay, so you must analyze lah. This one is from July to December. Okay, eight, sixteen, twelve, eight, twelve, twenty-four. So kamu kira jumlah yang ni semua. If you count correctly, your total is eighty. Okay, jumlah telefon untuk July sampai December. Okay, so now July until December. Is ninety seven point five percent, and you have lapan puluh telefon, okay, eighty telefon. So hundred percent, how many telefon? Can anyone tell me? Yang ni nisbah. You must know how to do the ratio. What is the answer here? Siapa boleh bagi tahu? Don't be worried if you get in decimal lah, guys. Kalau kamu dapat nombor perpuluhan tak apa. Just tell only. Yes, correct. Okay, so now I ask you guys, eighty two point zero five. Adakah ada logik lapan puluh dua point zero five telefon bimbit? Is it possible to have eighty two point zero five telefon? Logik ah guys. Yeah, definitely not logic lah. Maksudnya lapan puluh dua telefon kamu ada lepas tu five over ten. Your telefon tak complete lagi setengah saja terhasil. So guys, should I take eighty two or eighty three? Which one? Mana satu saya kena ambil? Careful lah, hati-hati. Yes, very good. Means you all got logic lah. This one common sense only. Answer eighty two. Jangan tambah satu lagi because dia tak hasil lagi. Okay, it's not complete yet, so you cannot consider. That's why eighty two. Okay, so now you can count lah. Jadi jumlah telefon kamu ada adalah satu enam dua one year. Okay, so now what is the profit? Satu telefon three five o. One six two telephone. Kalau kamu kira darab dua dua, your answer is donkey. Okay guys, boleh faham cara nak buat, especially yang tanya tadi. Okay, any more question? Let me see ya. Okay, so any more question? Twenty one to thirty yang nak bincang. If no more, kita pergi thirty one to forty.
No more, ah, guys. Tak ada, ah. So, 31 to 40, please. Ah, uh, Boleh type jawapan. So, I check. D, C, A, D, 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 C. Okay, exactly. Two mistake. Number 36. Wait, uh, let me see again. Yeah, 36 donkey. Then number 39 donkey. Two mistake only. 36 donkey, 39 donkey. Haida, donkey, C, A, donkey, donkey, donkey. B donkey. Okay, guys, please refer to Aida's answer. Okay, 10 over 10 for number 31 sampai 40. Okay, I won't type this time lah because got people put all the correct answer. Di. Okay, so refer to Aida. Okay, so any question you want me to discuss, 31 to 40, boleh type nombor. After this, we go paper 2 already. So please type your number. Any question? You want me to discuss 31 to 40? 36, okay? 36. Oh, tak lagi. Guys, exactly. Kalau nanti saya nampak kebarang kalian, saya akan panggil nama kamu tau untuk kertas dua. Sedia, stand by. Okay? Because dah banyak kali kamu dah lemah kat bab ni. Okay, never mind. Tak kena sabar. Okay, so probability Humaira pass online test 0.7. So they ask you, Pass after three attempt. So, macam mana buat soalan ni guys? Can I ask you all? First attempt, dia lulus ke gagal? Percubaan pertama. Can you all tell me? Kamu lihat soalan. First attempt, she fail or pass? Can you tell me? They say pass after three attempts. Yeah, means first attempt fail. How about second attempt? Fail also, right? Yeah, dia pun gagal. How about the third attempt? Third attempt, she? Yes, pass. Akhirnya selepas kali ketiga dia lulus. So, how to find probability? Fail times fail times pass. That's all. Itu saja. So, fail what is the probability? Pass, sorry, pass is 0 0.7. Lulus 0 0.7. Maksudnya gagal 0 0.3 lah. Gagal 0 0.3, lulus 0 0.7. So, final answer? Uh, you will get start, uh, 36, right? Okay, 0 0.063. Yes. Boleh faham sekarang? Is that it? Yang ni tak susah mana pun soalan ni. Okay, kamu kena faham konsep saja. Okay? If you tak faham lagi, kamu lihat balik lah YouTube saya sebab I already do untuk form 4 bab 9 kan, intensif tu. Kamu lihat recording balik. Okay, mungkin kamu faham balik bab ni sebelum SPM. Okay, hopefully can help lah. Okay, so 31 to 40. Any more question guys? Ada apa-apa lagi soalan? Anyone? If no more, kita pergi kertas dua. Okay, Nana. So I close the file. Okay, so we go paper A. I must use the same file, sorry. <laughs> Okay, paper two now. Okay, number one. Hopefully, we can go to all lah. We try our best. Okay, so who want to volunteer? Answer question one. Anyone here? Siapa nak suka wela jawab? This question sangat mudah. That's why I call for volunteer. Anyone? Who want to volunteer? Okay, Haida, since you comment, you volunteer lah. Question one. So, how to solve this? Can you tell me? Macam mana selesaikan yang ni? How will you do the step? in the exam oh sorry one more thing i forget to send the answer wait ah uh. mm. let me share to the group ah uh, guys for those in my group already i will share the answer first okay uh, and also one more thing anyone new over here first time join my class siapa baru saja join class saya because if you're interested, you can join my future classes also. If you found like I teach quite okay, saya aja bagus. Okay. So anyone new here, please remember PM my number. Okay, if you want to join my group. All right, don't forget lah the number. Okay. So let me share first the answers. Mm. So you all can say mak balik lah nanti.
Okay, so Haida, 41, 59. Okay, very simple lah. So guys, can you see the pattern? Poladia, Tamba. Uh, eh, sorry. There's no pattern here. Tak ada pola. It's just a prime number. Okay, you guys must know the meaning of prime number lah. So can anyone tell me what is the definition of prime number? Apa maksud nombor perdana yang kamu faham? There is two characteristics for a number to be called prime number. Can anyone list out for me? This one you must know. Yes, very good. Dia hanya boleh dibagi dengan nombor satu dan diri dia sendiri. Baru dipanggil nombor perdana. Okay, only divided by one and its own number. Okay, so 31, 37 prime number. Very good. Okay, so the next number you can think of will be uh, 41 lah. Okay, 38 can divide by 2. 39 boleh bagi 3. 40 also you can divide by 2. So next one, 41 lah. So Q, you can try and see. You should get uh, 59. Okay, 59 hanya boleh dibagi dengan 1 dan diri dia sendiri sahaja. No other number. Tak ada nombor lain. How about Al? Al, if you cuba, you should get 73. 73 can only be divided by 1 and itself. Okay, tak ada nombor lain. So then, you just need to solve this. Kamu hanya perlu selesaikan yang ni. So you will have 41 minus 59 divided by 73 minus 41. So final answer, negative 0 0.5625. Okay guys, I think this question is kindergarten also can answer lah. Tadika pun boleh jawab. Come out in, in the SM, SMKA, SABK trial. Okay, next one. Who want to volunteer to answer? Haida Adi try. So, who else? Who want to come a hero and answer? Sanya want to try this question? Set? Hakim, hey, don't simply tell people lah. Not good. So Sanya, can you try this set operation? Don't worry, just try to answer only. Okay, so first question, they ask you P intercept Q. So can you tell me where should I shade? Let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. What number should I shade? Can you tell me? You can type in the chat box lah. Okay, very good guys. Dua, tiga. Okay, two, three is your answer lah. Because P intercept Q. Okay. So P intercept Q, dia adalah persilangan lah. P dan Q. That's why two and three only lah. Dua kawasan ni sahaja. You terima. Okay. So how about this one guys? Uh, Sania, can you tell me where should I say? This one a bit more complex. So you must be carefully. Part B. Let's say one, two, three. 4, 5, 6. Kawasan mana? 1 and 3. Wow, so fast are you? Eh? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, correct, correct. Okay, yeah, 1 and 3. My labeling different. Okay, correct. So guys, anyone still struggle lah? Macam mana nak tentukan kawasan berlorek ni? Anyone still struggle lah? Tak tahu macam mana nak buat yang ni? Who don't know to do this kind of question? Ada ah? Okay, I show you one time. Kaida yang saya pakai adalah guna Kaedah nombor, number system. Okay, I think some of you use this lah. There's two methods. One of it is you direct C and shade. Untuk orang yang dah sangat pro lah. Kamu nampak terus, kamu boleh lorek. But for those who want to understand, untuk nak faham macam mana dapat yang tu, you can use this method. So guys, can you tell me, set P dia rangkomi nombor apa? What number represented by set P based on my labeling? Can anyone tell me? P equal to, yes, 1, 2, 4. How about Q? What is represented by Q? Yes, very good. 2, 3, 4, 5. How about R? Yes, 4, 5, 6. So now, you just direct, look at the question and do the operation. Q prime union R. Q prime union R. So how you get? 2, 3, 4, 5 is your Q. Lepas tu prime. And then union with 4, 5, 6. So guys, 2, 3, 4, 5 prime. What do you get? Huh? What will be the answer for 2, 3, 4, 5 prime? What number will you fill in? 
Anyone? Two, three, four, five prime. You should get one and six, right? Okay, final answer, one and six. And then union with four, five, six. So what's the answer? One, four, five, six. Not yet finished. Tahabis lagi. If you refer back, you must intercept with P. Silang dengan P. So one, four, five, six. Silang with P. One, two, four. So guys, which one must you say? One and four. Satu dan empat. That's why your answer is this one. Can you guys understand my method? Boleh faham kaida saya? My method is logic lah. You use the number, then you can determine the region. Another method is you direct C and answer. Ah, uh, So there's two methods lah. Okay guys, are you clear with number two? If no question, we're going on to number three. Yeah? Okay, so number three, Amija. Can you help me to answer this question? This one quite simple. Tak susah pun. Guna kaedah nisbah sahaja. They are want you to find the value of A if B equals 15. So apa jawapan kamu untuk A dulu? The rest also can try lah. What is the value of A if B equals 15? Yes, very good. A is 6. Okay, A to B, 2 to 5. Now they tell you that A nisbah B adalah 15. 2 to 5. So, 5 darab 3, kamu dapat 15. So, 2, kamu darab 3, kamu akan dapat A. So, A equals to 2 times 3 equal to 6. Kamu dah selesaikan. Okay, next, find the percentage of B. Cari peratusan B. So, macam mana cari peratusan B, guys? Can anyone tell me? What's the method? Atau jawapan dia? Peratusan B. Fifty-five over seven. Yes, very good. Okay, fifteen over five plus six. Ah, uh, yes, so fifteen over fifteen plus six also can. No problem. Yes. So final answer. Make sure, uh, guys, percentage. Ah, uh, yes, seventy-one point four three percent. Very good. Okay, maksudnya kamu ambil nisbah B, take the ratio of B, bahagi dengan jumlah nisbah, divide total ratio times hundred percent. That's all. Okay, then you will get seventy-one point four three. Settle. Okay, guys. This one also lower form topic actually. Dia masuk dalam trial SMK, SABK. Okay, for this year. Okay, next one. Number four. Another lower form topic. Bulatan. So, anyone who want to volunteer for this one? Is that it? Nak cuba tak yang ni? This question. I rasa boleh kot yang ni. Yang ni bukan kebang kalian. Find the perimeter of the shaded area. Oh, so fast. Huh? Yeah, 66, correct. Okay, guys, you should get 66, but I wait for EZT. Okay, can you describe apa yang kamu kena cari dulu? What must you find first? Kalau kamu nak explain guna mic, jangan risau. Kamu cakap saja. Tak perlu malu-malu atau apa-apa. All of us here are friends. TRP. Okay, very good. Kamu kena cari T. Eh, sad, sad. Shaded area. Is that it? Kawasan berlorek. Maksudnya perimeter yang ni sahaja. This one. Careful lah. Jangan careless kat situ. Okay, so they say that. Okay, yes. A -A -R -Q. A -R -Q. Mana A ya? Oh, SRQ. Yes, betul. Kamu cari panjang lengkok SQ. You find this arc first. So guys, what formula? Arc over 2 pi r equals to theta over 360. Okay, kamu kena lihat soalan lah. RS is 14, ST is 10, and then PQ is 4. Okay, kamu dah ada info. So guys, can I ask you? RQ sama dengan apa? Huh? What is the length of RQ, guys? RS is 14, means RQ is, apa panjang RQ? Yeah, 14 juga. Eh, not 20. Careful, this the radius. Okay, dia adalah jejari. That's why it's the same. 14, 14. Dia pusing. Okay, so now, 
Radius kamu ganti dengan 14 lah. Okay. Pi kamu guna 22 per 7. Use 22 over 7. What is your theta guys? Apa nilai theta? Yang saya kena ganti? Yes. Soalan pun dah beri. 90 darjah. Okay. That's why 90 degree. Settle. Okay. Tambah 10. Tambah 4. Nilai ni berapa guys? Macam mana cari nilai ni? Anyone know? Mereka tak bagi dalam soalan pun. How to find PT? Jarak dia. Yes, Pythagoras. Very good. Kamu lihat yang ni. Segi tiga sudut tegak. Right angle to angle. Means, 24 kuasa 2 tambah 18 kuasa 2. Okay. So then, kamu akan dapat panjang dia 30 cm. Okay, Pythagoras. Okay, lepas tu kamu tambah semua. You add everything, you should get 66. Jawapan akhir. Okay, 66 cm. Okay guys, clear? Ini soalan 4. Alright, next one. Question 5. Linear inequality. Let me see who else. Huh? Who want to try this? Siapa nak cuba? Soalan ni. Anyone volunteer? Yang ni mudah. Mudah juga. Kamu kena lakar lepas tu uh, tentukan kawasan berlorek. Shaded region. Anyone? Kalau tak ada volunteer, saya panggil nama tau. I call name. <laughs> Jangan rata kat orang. Don't don't tell other people. <laughs> ah, okay. Kalau kamu kata orang, saya panggil kamu lah. Okay, Amija. Cuba soalan ni. Since you call Haida. Okay. So how to do this? Tak susah pun. Jangan risau. No worries. Okay. First thing, kamu lihat. Saya guide kamu sikit lah. Kamu ada tiga ketaksamaan, 3 inequality. So, kamu tulis dulu dalam bentuk persamaan. Write in the equation format. X plus 6, X equal negative 1, Y equal negative X minus 1. Mengapa saya buat macam ni? Why I do like this? Uh, because I want to see whether you all focus or not. Of course lah, if I ask general means got only the same people answer, that's why I call specific. Okay, you must know SPM is coming. That's why I changed my method a bit also. That's why. Okay. So now guys, how to draw the graph? Macam mana kamu boleh lukis garis ni? How can you draw this line? Anyone know? Can you tell me? Ah, uh, Yes, boleh. Yang paling mudah, kamu kata X sama dengan kosong, Y sama dengan kosong. This is the typical method. Just let X is 0, Y is 0. So guys, if X is 0 here, you should get y is negative 1. If y is 0, you should get x is negative 1. Okay, sekarang kamu boleh plot lah. You can draw out the line already. 0, negative 1. And then negative 1, 0. Okay, kamu lukis. Saya tak boleh lukis sangat tepat tau guys. Because it's on the iPad. Okay, dia takkan sangat tepat. Okay, you must try to draw out on your paper and see. Okay, this the line. Uh, if there's only one line, if there's only one, then the line moves both. Yeah, find coordinates, then plot. Correct. You must have coordinate. Baru kamu boleh plot. Okay, this is the method always. Okay, next one. So guys, untuk persamaan macam ni, what do we do? Again, same method. X, Y. X sama dengan kosong, Y sama dengan enam. Y sama dengan kosong, X sama dengan negative enam. So you can plot. Okay, zero, six, negative six, zero. 0, negative 6, 0 and then 0, 6. Okay, lukis garis. Guys, you must make sure, jangan selalu kamu anggap dia adalah garis solid tau. It's not always solid line. You must see that the symbol inequality. Kalau dia sama dengan macam ni, baru garis solid. If like this, it's dotted. Okay, yang ni solid. Okay, remember. Kalau ada sama dengan, baru kamu boleh solid. Okay, next one, x less than negative 1. So guys, persamaan yang ni, this one. Wait, ah, saya delete dulu. This one over here. Macam mana lukis ni, ya? Yeah? Can anyone describe to me? Macam mana garis dia nampak? How will the line look for this? Is it vertical? Is it horizontal? Yes, vertical, straight up. They are menegak. x equals negative 1. Make sure dotted, ah, guys x equal to negative 1, like this. 
habis. Okay? Yeah, correct. Okay, like this lah. So now, you must shade. Jangan tinggal macam ni tau guys. You never answer the question yet. You must shade the region. Okay? So now, mereka bagi tau uh, X is less than negative 1. Y is less than X plus 6. And then, uh, Y is greater than negative X minus 1. Less than, equal, more than. Okay, so where is the region guys? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Mana satu saya kena lorek? Which one? Yes, correct. Number 4. Okay, you must know how to determine lah. Kamu tahu macam mana nak tentukan. Okay guys, are you clear? Soalan nombor 5. Should be no problem, right? Okay, next one. Yang ni pun topik menengah rendah, lower form. Calculate the volume of the remaining solid. Okay, so macam mana nak kira guys? Volume cone, you take the volume of the whole cone, tolak dengan volume silinder yang ni. Merah tolak biru, red minus blue. Okay, then you get the answer. Semua info dah diberi. Okay, everything given already. Okay, so volume of cone. Can anyone tell me rumus guys? Isi padu kon apa dia? I know kamu boleh lihat hadapan tapi saya nak kamu hafal. I want you remember. Sebab takkan bazir masa kamu selak ke hadapan. Okay, don't waste time to go in front then come back. Yes, 1 over 3, 5 R square H. What is the volume of cylinder guys? Rumus isi padu cylinder. Yes, pi R square H. Lepas tu kamu ambil yang ni. Tolak dengan yang ni. You will get the answer. Okay. Kat sini, you can see over here lah. Cone. Radius 14. R 14. Height 15. Ganti 15. Pi kamu ganti 22 over 7. Okay. Lepas tu silinder. R 6. H 8. Okay. Final answer. Anyone got the final answer? Untuk yang ni. Siapa dah dapat? You can see the question. Use pi is this one. Okay, can. Okay, kalau kamu nak tulis macam ni pun boleh. This is your final answer. Cm cube. Ataupun jawapan Haida. Haida's answer also can. Okay, yes, correct. Very good. Okay, guys. I think this one quite easy lah. Nothing much to show. Alright, next one. Ah, who don't like transformation here? Siapa tak suka? Tengok ah, transformasi dia boleh keluar bahagian A juga. Tak semestinya bahagian B. Doesn't mean always section B. Section A also can. Okay, so who want to do this? Haida, nak cuba kan yang ni? Cuba buat soalan ni. Transformation. Jom. Okay, they ask you find the coordinate of image of point A under transformation T. Okay, yang ni senang saja. Kamu boleh buat. So guys, uh, point A. Okay, so kamu kena gerak lah. Empat maksudnya apa guys? Four means what? Right or left? Kiri ke kanan? Kalau empat, yes, right. Negatif tiga atas atau bawah? Yes, down, correct. So kamu gerak sajalah, just move the point only. Four, negative three. Four, negative three. Settle, A prime. Kalau image, kita bagi simbol pelengkap, prime. Okay, remember. So you will write final answer is five, negative one. Okay, so next one, untuk nombor dua, T R. So guys, which one first, T atau R? Mana datang dulu? Yes, remember, R then only T. So R is rotation. Okay, you must know how to do rotation lah for point A. Center B, 90 darjah lawan pusingan jam, anti-clockwise. You connect. So guys, should I draw this one or this one? A atau B? Mana yang betul? Can you tell me? Anti-clockwise, ah? Huh? Lawan pusingan jam. Yes, B is the correct one. Okay. So, jawapan yang kamu akan dapat, kamu panjangkan sampai sini. Okay, the coordinate is 71. Untuk, eh, sat-sat, bukan 71. Wait, ah, huh? I draw wrongly already. Kamu kena ukur tau, guys. 90 darjah guna jangka lukis. Baru dia tepat. Okay, you should get this one. Okay, this is your A prime. Lepas tu, kamu kena translasi lah. Translation of 4, negative 3. Okay, 4, negative 3. 
So your final answer is 10, negative 2. Okay, guys? So, guys, ingat lah, bila jawab soalan ni, remember, kamu kena tulis jawapan dalam bentuk specific. There is specific technique to answer. Kamu kena mula dengan A, the coordinate is 1, 2, yang ni untuk nombor 1. Lepas tu, tulis transformasi ke atas, write the letter of transformation, then write the image. A prime, phi negative 1. Baru kamu dapat markah. Don't direct jawab yang ni. Okay, risky. Dia ada risiko. Kalau kamu buat yang saya bulatkan sahaja. Okay, remember. Huh? And then number 2, kamu kena tulis macam ni. A, 1, 2. Lepas tu R. Sebab mereka nak check. Kat tengah-tengah ni, kamu dapat betul ke tak? A prime is 6, 1. And then T, 10, negative 2. Okay, guys. Are you clear? Boleh faham ah? Mesti tulis macam ni tau. No other way ah. Make sure you all do like this in the exam. Okay, next one, part B. They ask you to describe N is the image of M. Okay, guys. Siapa boleh bagi tau yang ni? This one very simple. Image, object. So, apa transformasi dia? What is the transformation? Anyone? Yes, pantolan. Kat mana? What is the equation of the line? Persamaan garis pantolan tu? Yes, very good. Y equals to 4. Yang ni adalah paksi pantolan. Very simple. Okay, so you must say pantolan pada paksi Y sama dengan 4. Reflection in the line Y equals to 4. Okay, done. Okay, next one. Ah, Guys, this one you all like, right? Yang ni kamu kena tulis semua. Hafal sahaja. So who want to do this? Izati, saya nak kamu buat ni. Can you tell me? Converse, inverse dan kontra positif. Okay, untuk yang ni dulu. Eh, sebelum tu, kamu determine truth value. Adakah betul ke tak yang ni? Yes, tu. Okay, can you tell me the converse? Apa akas dia? Kamu tulis short form saja, tak perlu tulis penuh. Saya nak tengok kamu buat betul ke tak. If X is 2, yes, very good. Okay, terbalik saja. Okay, akas is like this. Yes, correct. Okay, how about songsangan guys? Inverse, macam mana tulis? Okay, I think Keshav told summary already lah to me. Correct. Okay. Uh, P. Uh, apa maksud P kamu? Yes, very good. Okay, so Sonia, jawapan dia, jika 3X tak sama dengan 6, maka X tak sama dengan 2. Okay, oh, terdekat, tak apa. If 3X not equal to 6, then X not equal to 2. So, kontra positif, guys, macam mana? Yes, very good. Okay, negate Q, negate P. Okay, maksudnya, if X not equal to 2, then 3X not equal to 6. Jika X tak sama dengan 2, maka... 3X tak sama dengan 6. Settle. Guys, empat markah ni. Rasa free kan? This is free mark guys. Mengapa saya kata free mark? Kamu hafal, kamu dapat markah ni. Tak perlu kira apa pun. Nothing to count. If you memorize, you get four mark. Just like that. Okay? So sangat beruntung lah kalau siapa yang study bab ni. Okay, next one. Trigo. Okay, your favorite. Okay, siapa suka Trigo? Nak jawab soalan ni. Who want to answer? Uh, nak panggil siapa sekarang Alia, boleh cuba Kalau kamu form 5, kamu boleh Buatlah yang ni okay? Mereka nak cari panjang BD okay, So macam mana cari panjang BD AD equal to BC okay, Maksudnya AD is 13 So apa panjang BD Can you tell me Yang lain juga boleh cuba. Rest also can do. AD minus BD. Correct? So, macam mana cari AB guys? What do we use? How do we get AB? Yes, Pythagoras. Very good. Okay, so if you count, kamu akan dapat jawapan 11.53 for AB. Maksudnya BD 13 minus 11.53. Your answer is 
Okay? Ya. Yeah. Okay guys, A should be no problem lah. Yang ni sangat mudah. So next one, sekarang kamu kena guna knowledge to go. Okay, how to find sin x guys? Macam mana cari sin x? Apa kaedah dia? Okay, actually you must find this angle first lah. Kamu kena cari yang ni dulu. Katakan sudut ni alpha. This angle is alpha. So guys, can you type out the relationship for me? Sin x equal to apa? Eh, belum-belum lagi. Sin x equal to apa dulu? Saya nak sesuatu equation yang menghubung kaitkan dua-dua ni. Apa persamaan yang kamu boleh bagi? Yes, sin x equal to sin alpha. Remember. Okay, bila hasil tambah dua sudut adalah 180, the total angle 180, sin and sin dia akan sama. Okay, so now, kamu kena cari sin alpha lah. So, equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Jadi, jawapan dia 6 per 13. Settle. Okay, so now, next question. Tangent X equal to, can you complete for me? Tangent X sama dengan? Equation yang menghubung kaitkan dua ni. Tangent X equal to? Anyone? Tangent X sama dengan? Yang ni betul tak? Eh, jangan buat salah. Okay, this one wrong concept. Kena tambah negatif. Ingat. Sign sahaja tak tambah negatif. Yes, form 5, chapter 6. Trigo. Okay, cos dan tangent kamu kena tambah negatif. Ingat. Yes, ASTC. Okay, kamu guna hukum tu. All sign, tangent, cos. Add sugar to coffee lah. Yang tu. Okay, so how to get tangent alpha? Opposite bahagi adjacent. Bertentangan bahagi sebelahan. Bertentangan 6. Jadi sama dengan negatif 6 bahagi panjang AB. Okey. Yang kamu kira kat sini. Okey. Jawapan dia sebenarnya punca kuasa 2, 1, 3, 3 lah. Okey. Kalau kamu nak bagi dalam perpuluhan, jawapan dia 0.52 untuk tangent X. Okey. Yang ni sama dengan yang ni. Negatif 0.52. Okay guys, are you clear? Untuk soalan Trigo ni, boleh faham? Okay, it sounds basic lah, I rasa. Okay, next one. Matrix. Okay, who want to do this? Siapa nak buat? Aina nak cuba tak? Matrix. Yang ni tak susah pun. Kamu bentuk persamaan, lepas tu cari harga. Oh, kamu form 4 ke? Oh, ok, ok. Form 5. Uh, Izati, nak buat tak? Yang ni. Cuba bagi kat saya dua persamaan yang kamu dapat bentuk. What is the two equation you have? Or anyone else lah. Siapa boleh bagi persamaan kat saya? Yang ni Aina pun boleh bagi sebab persamaan serentak sahaja. 45x plus 30y is 255. Ok, one more. Thirty five x plus twenty five y equals to two. Yes. Okay, guys. Refer to the two equation. Lepas tu kamu kena buat matrix sahaja. Okay, matrix method. So guys, kamu nak saya tunjuk matrix tak? Do you all need me to show matrix? Ah, uh, scroll up means until here. Oh, nak ah? Nak saya tunjuk ah? Okay. So guys, make sure your matrix okay ah until now. Okay, you got these two equation. 30y, 255, 35x, 25y, 205. Okay, so kamu tukar dari bentuk persamaan ke bentuk matrix. Convert from equation to matrix format. Guys, you all know how I easy all this, right? Kamu tahu kan macam mana saya tukar sekarang ni. Do you all see the method? Kamu kena susun dalam bentuk persamaan AX tambah BY equal C. Make sure your equation is in this format. Lepas tu kamu tengok, saya isi terus saja. I directly fill in all the number. Okay? 
So, the, kalau kamu dapat yang ni, you can solve already lah. XY equals to 1 per AD minus BC. 45, 25 minus 30, 35. Okay, lepas tu songsangkan, you inverse the matrix. 25, 45, negative 30, negative 35. Okay, so then you times with 255, 205. Okay guys, lepas ni kamu kira saja guna calculator. Your final answer you should get X is 3, Y is 4. Maksudnya kamu kena buat kesimpulan lah. X sama dengan RM3, Y sama dengan RM4. Sebab sekarang mereka tanya pasal harga, bukan bilangan. They comparing about the price. So you must have RM. Okay, jangan stop kat sini saja. Don't leave your final answer here. Buat juga kesimpulan ni. Just write an extra sentence to conclude everything. Okay guys, are you clear? With soalan 10? Any question? Make sure you know how to do the pendaraban matrix ah huh? over here. Kamu kena tahu. Okay guys. Can I continue section B? Can ah? Okay, so now who want to do this question? Siapa nak buat yang ni? Sebelas. Come on, come on. Siapa volunteer? Yang ni senang saja. Let me see ya. Ah. Hmm. Alia, boleh buat yang ni tak? Yang ni form 4, yang form 4 boleh buat juga lah. Anyone in form 4 can do this also. Okay, never mind. I ask public lah. Okay, titik persilangan. Macam mana cari titik persilangan guys? What is the concept? What must we do? Apa kita kena buat? Everyone answer. What do we do guys? Titik persilangan. Kita kena buat apa? Yes. Basically, kamu selesaikan persamaan serentak. Solve simultaneous. Kamu ganti satu dalam dua. Substitute one into two. Okay? I, I rasa saya tak mau tunjuk yang ni lah. This one very simple. Kamu boleh buat. Okay? Kalau kamu selesaikan, X is three, Y is six. Okay, guys. Boleh tak saya tinggal jawapan saya macam ni sahaja? X equal 3, Y equal 6. Boleh tak saya letak jawapan macam ni? Yes or no? Cuba lihat soalan. Yes, cannot. Okay, ingat guys, mereka nak titik persilangan. Point. Maksudnya jawapan saya kena dalam bentuk apa guys? What form must I give my answer in? What is the name? Yes, bentuk coordinate. You must give in coordinate form. This one only correct. This one wrong. Okay, saya tahu kamu akan kata jawapan saya dah dapat kan tapi kamu tak jawab balik soalan. You must answer back the question. Ini jawapan dia. Okay, walaupun maksud sama tapi bentuk kamu tulis jawapan tu tu berbeza. Okay, so you must know lah. Alright. Okay guys, I got one question here. Boleh tak saya guna kaedah penghapusan kat sini? Can I use elimination method over here? Everyone? Boleh tak? Yes or no, guys? Can I use elimination untuk 11A? Cuba jawab, guys. Boleh ke tak? Cuba fikir. Can. Okay, boleh. The answer is yes. Elimination kamu boleh buat. Yes, pasti boleh. Tapi kamu kena susun sikit lah persamaan dia. Baru kamu boleh buat. Okay, straightforward method yang paling senang senang punya kamu buat penggantian. Substitution. Elimination is second choice. Pilihan kedua. Yang pertama adalah penggantian. Okay, tapi kamu boleh guna mana-mana lah soalan tak nyatakan. Okay, the question never specify. So choose what you want. Okay, so next one. They want you to find kecerunan garis OP. Yang ni senang lah. OP. Kamu ada dua titik. 12 bahagi 8. So your answer is 3 per 2 kecerunan. Okay, next one. They ask you to find coordinate Q. Eh, sorry, nilai K. Sorry. They want you to find the value of K. So guys, apa kecerunan garis SQ? Can you tell me? 
apa keturunan dia what's the gradient kalau OP tu 3 per 2 ya SQ juga 3 per 2 mengapa selari parallel keturunan sama ok so then kamu boleh cari K lah kamu ada semua nilai dah ok 3 over 2 equal to K minus 0 over 10 minus 7 kamu selesaikan untuk K kamu akan dapat 9 per 2 Okay, ataupun 4.5 lah. 9 over 2 or 4.5. Okay guys. So now, siapa tak suka bab ni? Who don't like this chapter? Insurance. Suka. Okay, you kata suka, kamu jawab. Huh? Okay, Izati jawab. Untuk soalan satu. Okay, first question. Cari penalty ko insurance. Baru kita bincang semalam soalan jenis ni. Okay. You must know uh, how to count coinsurance penalty. So what's the formula? Siapa boleh bagi tahu penalty coinsurance? Yang ni tak diberi ya uh, formula. So kamu kena hafal. Must memorize. Eh, hey, wrong, wrong, wrong. No, no. This one is kamu kira untuk uh, amount of required insurance. Jumlah insurance yang diperlukan. Soalan tanya penalty coinsurance. Okay, be careful. Read the question carefully. So, Izzati, macam mana? Kalau ada jawapan, kamu boleh bagi tahu lah. Atau kamu cakap formula. Insurance value, okay. Tak complete lagi, kamu kena ambil jumlah kerugian tolak dengan apa yang kamu tulis. Faham tak? Izati. Okay, kamu kena tol ah, kamu kena ambil kerugian dulu, lepas tu tolak dengan jawapan kamu. Amount of loss minus ah uh, insured value over amount of required insurance times loss. Okay, jadi loss kamu kat sini adalah this one, kerugian. Okay, so hundred fifty thousand. Insured value macam mana cari? Actually what Haida say lah. You must find this one, the top one over here. Okay, kamu kena ambil uh, peratusan co-insurance, co-insurance percentage kali dengan jumlah insurance yang diperlukan. Amount of required. Eh sorry, insurable value, nilai boleh insurance. Okay, lepas tu bahagi dengan uh, mana nilai dia. Amount of required insurance. Ah, yang ni lah, nilai ke atas. Okay. Sorry ah, this one wrong ah. This one is not, ini bukan nilai dia. Yang ni adalah 400,000. Okay, insurable value mereka dah beri. Nilai boleh insurance yang ni. Okay, lepas tu kali dengan 150,000. Okay, your amount of loss, kerugian kamu. Okay, so final answer, yes, correct. 21794.87. Jawapan kamu. Okay guys. Boleh faham kaedah dia? Kamu kena ingat formula saja. Yang lain ganti saja masuk. Okay. So next one. Compensation. Total loss. So guys. Macam apa formula dia? Untuk nombor dua. What should I use? This is the keyword. Kerugian menyeluruh. So what is the formula? Yes, correct. Okay, kamu ambil nilai boleh insurance, insured value minus deductible. Okay, nilai boleh insurance 400,000, deductible soalan W, question give 14,000. Itu sahaja, habis. Final answer, 386,000. Okay guys, that's why I say insurance topic kamu ingat formula saja. If you don't remember the formula, very tough untuk score. Kalau kamu ingat, sangat mudah untuk score. Sebab semua info dah diberi. Tak ada banyak info kamu kena cari. Okay, guna formula, ganti terus. Dapat jawapan. Okay, so next one. Okay, this one is a nice question. Apa pampasan yang diterima? Okay, untuk situasi macam ni. Kamu lihat ah. Cost dia 1200 Medical cost 1K. 1.2K. Deductible 200 So how much compensation guys? Can you tell me? Wow, very good. Are you? 
kamu ingat semua RM0. Okay, reason? Can you explain? Dua markah yang ni. Satu lagi markah. Apa sebab dia? Anyone? Apa sebab dia sebenarnya? No, no. These are not the main reason. Ini bukan sebab utama dia. Guys, cuba lihat ah. Adakah dua ni berkait tak guys? Is this two related ah? Medical cost and motor insurance. Yes, very good. Motor insurance actually does not give protection for the medical cost. Kamu kena ingat. Okay, insurance motor ni dia tak cover untuk kos perubatan. Dia totally dua benda berbeza. Itu sebab compensation RM0 lah. Maksudnya pihak insurance tak beri apa-apa duit kat pemegang policy. No money given from the insurance company to policy holder. Okay guys, clear? So ini adalah fakta lah. One keyword that you can identify is state. State maksudnya tak ada pengiran. Jadi jawapan terus sahaja. Okay, that's why answer is RM0. Kalau nak kira, mereka takkan kata state. Okay, kalau ada jalan kira lah. Tak akan ada perkataan nyatakan. Okay, kamu boleh bijak lah nak identify. Okay, so next one. Kamu kena kira kos perubatan oleh syarikat insurance. Okay, guys, first step. Izati, macam mana nak buat? Kena kira apa dulu? Coinsurance is 85.15. So, macam mana? What's the first thing you guys must count? Yes, kamu kena cari kos perubatan selepas deductible. So, RM1200 kos minus deductible 200 kali berapa guys yes 85 yang lebih besar punya peratus adalah untuk syarikat insurance remember insurance company always give the highest highest percentage yang peratusan lebih rendah untuk pemegang policy policy holder yes okay 850 final answer okay guys clear dengan soalan 12 okay i think should be no problem lah yang ni senang kalau kamu tahu formula Okay, next one. Ah, sebenarnya yang ni lah soalan untuk kamu, Izati. Boleh buat tak yang ni, Izati? Ah, tak boleh, tak boleh. Saya dah dah tengok kamu nak hilang. Saya tahu. Okay, cuba yang ni. Saya nak kamu cuba sebab kamu kena in improve bab ni. Tak tak susah ni pun. Okay, so next one. Ah, kalau nombor enam tu dipilih. Okay. Lepas tu, mereka akan pilih satu lagi nombor dari P. Kalau H2 dipilih, mereka akan pilih satu lagi dari Q. Okay, kamu boleh lihat yang ni. Okay, so is that it? Or everyone else lah yang lain, everyone. Can you all tell me the sample space? Ruang sample dulu. Untuk situasi yang ni. Cuba type. What is your sample space? H L H M H N. Uh, okay, some more. Lagi? I'm asking sample space. I think this one your answer for A1 already. So what will be the sample space? Kamu boleh cakap bilangan dia lah lebih senang. Is that it? Berapa bilangan yang kamu boleh tengok untuk ruang sample? Tak perlu type satu-satu. Terus bagi tahu bilangan. Kalau bilangan betul, should be betul lah. So guys, what's the sample space? Okay, mereka kata number card 6 pilih dari box P. So kamu boleh ada 61, 68, 6F, 6K. Is Boleh faham kan? Okay, lepas tu kalau pilih H, H5 kamu pilih dari Q. H9, HL, HM. HN. Okay guys, so this is your sample space. Ini adalah ruang sample kamu, kamu kena ingat. Sembilan in total. Okay, nine sample space. So now kamu baca soalan. Dua-dua kad -dua adalah huruf. Jadi macam Haida cakap lah, yang ni tiga saja. So what is the probability guys? What's the answer? 
Yes. Jangan tulis 3 per 9. Ha? Remember, final answer mathematik jawapan termudah. Simplest form. 1 over 3. Okay. Ha. Jangan silap kat situ. Okay, next one. A card label with number, a card label with letter. Berapa guys? Pertama nombor, lepas tu huruf. Yes, so 4 over 9. Okay, jawapan dia 4 per 9. Okay, settle. Next one. Okay, ah, yang ni kamu kena faham Venn diagram. So, exactly, macam mana cari yang ni? A intercept B. Apa tolak dengan apa? What minus what? Kalau kamu tak boleh bayangkan, kamu boleh lukis wajah Ven. Lebih senang. Okay, very good Haida. Correct? Okay, kamu lukis A, B, set semester, universal set. Mereka bagi tahu A intercept B prime. Okay guys, A intercept, wah not bad lah. Huh? Izati, betul. A intercept B prime dia adalah kawasan ni. Okay, A silang dengan B prime. Yang ni 10 per 21. So, mereka nak cari uh, A intercept B. Soalan nak cari yang ni. Okay, lepas tu mereka bagi tahu ke barang kalian bagi A. Okay, yang bulatan ni. This whole circle over here. Wait. Huh? Uh, saya guna biru lah. This whole circle. Seluruh yang ni 6 per 7. Jadi macam mana cari yang hitam ni? 6 per 7, satu bulatan, the whole circle minus 10 over 21. Jadi jawapan dia 8 over 21. Concept set sebenarnya. You must apply your concept of set into probability. Okay, so exactly adakah ni saling eksklusif atau tak saling eksklusif? Which one? Berdasarkan wajah when ni. Is this mutually or non-mutually? Yes, tak eksklusif. Mengapa? Reason? Kamu boleh lihat bentuk lah dan bagi tahu sebenarnya. Just describe from the shape. Anyone? Siapa boleh cuba? Sebab dia satu ungkapan saja kamu kena tulis bagi saya. Only one term to justify it. Anyone? Reason. Mengapa yang ni, okay, exactly dah beri. Okay, probability A silang dengan B tak sama dengan kosong. This is the reason. Okay, maksudnya dia ada persilangan lah. There is intersection. Itu sebab dia ada nilai kebang kalian kat situ. There is probability. That's why is tidak saling eksklusif. Non-mutually eksklusif. That is the reason. Okay, wah, baguslah kamu kebang kalian. Maksudnya SPM tak ada masalah lah. Bab ni. Okay, so next one. 14 pun ni mudah, quadratic, okay, quadratic expression, area of landscape of the yard. So guys, macam mana cari yang ni? What is the expression? Anyone can tell. Yang ni mudah sahaja. Untuk seluruh yang ni, mereka nak luas. Jadi, yang ni, 3x tambah 4, 3x plus 4, kamu darab dengan yang ni. Okay, final answer, yes, that is the answer. Kamu kembangkan yang ni saja. Multiply these two and then expand. Guna kuadratik. Final answer, 9x square plus 6x minus 8. Okay, jangan lupa letak unit. Must put unit meter square. Okay, so next one. Mereka dah bagi luas 160. So 9x square plus 6x. Jawapan yang ni dia sama dengan 160. Okay, lepas tu, can anyone tell me the answer? Lebih baik kembangkan, Haida. I advise you to expand. Okay. So, can anyone tell? Apa jawapan untuk X kamu? What do you get? Kamu boleh permudahkan. You simplify the equation by dividing 3. Bagi persamaan dengan 3. Yes, correct. 4 and negative 14 over 3. So, mana ditolak guys? Which one is rejected? Okay, kamu kena reject the negative lah. Ya. Yeah. 
Okay, sebab panjang tak boleh negatif. Length is not negative. That's why X is equal to 4. Soalan tanya X saja. Jadi kamu dah jawab. Okay, next one. Okay, yang ni mereka involve aplikasi sikit lah. Mereka kata 1 meter kuasa 2 RM1590. Lepas tu ada juga installation fee, kos pembinaan. Okay, they say for the uh, shaded area. Jadi kamu kena carilah luas yang berlorek. So macam mana cari guys luas berlorek? Kamu ambil luas seluruh, eh sorry, luas seluruh raja, the whole diagram area minus this area lah, luas yang ni. Okay, so guys, saya nak tanya, apa panjang ini ya, yang merah? What is the weight length? Siapa boleh bagi tahu? Yes, bagi dua. Because kamu nampak simbol sama dengan. Okay, means is equal. Tx minus 2 bahagi dua. Okay, itu jawab. Sorry ya, this one got tiga ha, kat depan. Okay, that's why 3x minus 2 bahagi dua. Okay, jadi kamu cari luas yang ni. Okay, kalau kamu solve lah, you selesaikan. You should get. Uh, eh, wait. Kamu boleh ganti x sama dengan 4. Okay, you can substitute x is 4. Okay, because kamu dah cari nilai 4. So, you should get the area is 60 meter square untuk yang tak berlorek. Okay, then kamu kira luas seluruh raja, the area for the whole diagram. Okay, sebenarnya dah diberi lah kat kamu. It's already given to you. Okay, yang ni. 160. Okay, so 160 minus 60. Jawapan yang kamu ada baki 100. Okay, jadi... Luas ni lah, this area is going to be charged with the cost. Okay, 1 meter square RM2. So guys, kamu buat nisbah. 100 meter square RM200 lah. Lepas tu ada lagi, kamu ada dua jenis cost, two type of cost. So 1 meter square RM1590. Lepas tu 100 meter square RM1590. Kamu tambah dua-dua. Untuk cari jumlah cost. Total cost you will get 1790. So guys, adakah dia cukup budget dia? Can anyone answer? Yang diperlukan 2000. Eh sorry, dia ada 2000. Okay, yang diperlukan RM1790. Cukup. Okay, sufficient. Sebab yang ni lebih kurang dari yang ni. Okay, that's all. Okay guys, so next one. Siapa boleh bagi tahu yang ni? Just one only. Untuk baris ni saja cukup. Apa kelas interval dia? This one. Okay. Midpoint. Okay. Frekuensi kamu kena kira lah dari jadual. You must count. Oh kamu dah buat soalan lah. Okay good. Jawapan dia 8. Okay just refer to the table only. Tapi hati-hati ya -hati guys. Be careful. Nombor dalam jadual, make sure you count correctly because ada banyak nombor kat sini. So, kalau kamu kurang dari satu atau lebih dari satu kamu kira, bukan A saja kamu salah, not only A wrong, your graph also wrong. So, tengok guys, kalau A tu salah, B salah, C salah. Kamu cuba ingat berapa markah kamu akan dapat dari soalan ni. That's why soalan A tu sangat penting because all related. Kalau A salah, habis semua. Okay, so make sure kamu betul-betul kira frekuensi ni. Jangan cepat sangat. Double check. Okay, mungkin kamu boleh buat silap. Okay, 41 to 45, 43, 9. Pastikan ni semua nilai dia. 48, 53, 58, 46 to 50, 51 to 55, 56 to 60. Okay, so ini adalah jawab. Jadual dia. Semua kena betul. Baru kamu dapat satu markah. Satu, satu, satu. Okay. Total is four mark. Four I think untuk overall lah. Empat markah untuk overall. Kalau semua betul, kamu dapat empat markah. Okay. Satu lagi markah kalau semua betul. Okay guys. So graph. Any problem? Frequency polygon? Y axis apa guys untuk frekuensi poligon? Paksi Y kamu? Apa label dia? What will you label Y axis? Yes, frekuensi X axis. 
kamu ada dua option x axis midpoint ataupun sempadan atas sempadan bawah pun boleh tapi kalau kamu bijak kamu cuba lihat apa soalan suruh kamu buat kat bahagian A midpoint jadi cuba guna titik tengah use the midpoint okey kalau tak kamu kena kira satu lagi kolom kamu tambah okey you must tambah one more column apa boundary lower boundary kalau salah label macam mana label apa haida paksi graph ke your axis Label apa tu? Oh, salah lah. Cumulative frequency hanya untuk ogive. Frequency polygon hanya frequency. Okay. So, graph. You guys can draw, right? Kamu semua boleh lukis kan? Tak ada masalah kan? Nanti saya hantar dalam group. Okay, tak apa. Boleh lihat tak kat sini? Kalau saya tunjuk macam ni. You all can see, right? Macam mana paksi, macam mana skala saya. This is the scale that you must use. Pastikan kamu sambung kat bawah. This too important. Kamu kena connect dengan paksi X. Make sure you connect with your X axis. Kalau tak, dia tergantung macam ni salah. Okay guys? Clear? Macam mana bentuk dia? Ah, gunung lah. Dia nampak macam gunung sikit. Okay, nanti saya hantar lah untuk kamu semua refer graph dia. Okay, untuk C ni, lebih besar dari RM48. Maksud ni adalah, kamu lihat graf kamu, kamu lihat berapa frekuensi untuk lepas RM48. You refer to your graph which frekuensi more than 48, you count the bilangan. Ini lebih besar dari 48, ini lebih besar, ini lebih besar. Jadi kamu kena ambil frekuensi tiga nilai ni, tambah. You add all these three frekuensi, bahagi dengan apa guys? Kalau nak cari peratus, kamu bahagi dengan apa nilai kat bawah? Anyone? Kamu bahagi dengan berapa? Hello? Kamu kena bahagi dengan jumlah frekuensi. Remember, kamu kena bahagi dengan keseluruhan. Okay, jumlah kekerapan. Okay, lepas tu yang ni adalah nilai untuk yang lebih besar dari RM48. 100 ke? Uh, kamu bagi jawapan untuk peratus Tak nak Yes, 30% Okay, nombor kat sini 12 Nombor kat sini 40 Okay, 12 over 40 times 100, 30% Okay guys, last question Kamu nak saya buat 16 ke 17 Kamu pilih Do you want me discuss 16 or 17? Ah, janganlah kamu sekali lagi Guys saya nak tanya lah, kamu semua nak reka ke soalan sendiri dalam STM nanti? You all want to create your own question lah. Kod-kod kamu nak dapat markah lebih banyak. Ah, Mungkin ada setengah perangai macam ni. Okay, some people yang nak main saja, ah, mereka akan create soalan sendiri. Ah, Lepas tu dapat betul lah, wah sangat untung lah. Tapi yang paling lucu, kamu create soalan sendiri, kamu salah soalan kamu. Wah, yang tu memang pemeriksa gelak lah kat kamu. Dia tolak markah lagi. <laughs> ah betul. 1A, ah, apa maksud kamu? Oh, itu soalan kamu. Jangan create soalan macam tu. Soalan tu tak ada markah. Sangat mudah. <laughs> okay guys, 16 or 17? Pastor, soalan mana? Pilih satu. Atau nak saya pilih? Saya cuba tengok mana yang lebih bagus. Saya rasa 16 lebih mudah lah. 17 transformasi. Jadi saya kena lukis sikit. Okay, saya rasa 16 lebih mudah lah. Because 17 ni saya kena lukis. Ha, nanti susah sikit. Okay guys. I do 16 lah. 17 kamu lihat jawapan dalam group. Okay, because exam kamu akan pilih soalan lebih senang kan. Am I right? You all will choose easier question. So, saya pilih soalan yang lebih senang lah bagi kamu semua. Okay, 16 is easier. Okay, so I discuss 16. Okay, so mereka nak kamu complete weighted and non-directed graph. Jadi guys, perlu tak saya letak arah kat sini dalam lukisan saya? Do I need to draw arrow? Yes, no need. Non-directed. Okay, so graph kamu 
kamu kena gunalah info ni. Bentuk dia mana-mana pun boleh. Any shape. Okay, kamu boleh letak vertex dia kat mana-mana. Okay, so it's like this. Okay, kamu kena label lah guys. Pemberat, the weightage must be label. Because it's weighted graph. Graph pemberat. Okay, so this is your drawing. Kamu boleh refer info kat sini. Guna info yang ni. Okay, all of this. Jarak. Okay guys, no problem right? Untuk soalan A, kamu lihat copy paste only. Kamu sambung semua garis. Okay, and then for number two, ah, yang ni kamu kena tahu lah. Wait ah, let me see. Shortest distance, mereka nak cari jarak terpendek. Ada soalan, ah, ada soalan kat sini lagi. Shortest distance from TK kepada TT. So guys, apa jarak terpendek? Yang kamu boleh lihat kat sini. Dari TK ke TT. What is your answer? Yang ni mula, yang ni akhir. Eh, bukan. Not your shortest yet. Eh, macam mana? 19. Guys, this your shortest. 14 tambah 6. 20. Boleh nampak tak? Yang ni mula, yang ni akhir. TK kepada TT. Okay, question ask TK to TT. So, start to end lah. 14 plus 6, 20. Okay, guys. And then, next one. They say that 3D art kepada IB. Ikan bakar. Okay, so they stop here. Okay, ada dua orang lah sebenarnya kat sini. Mereka nak cari perbezaan. Okay, the difference in distance. Jadi, guys. First one, Asila. Dia pergi dari AA, yang ni AA, kepada, taklah, IB, AA kepada IB. So guys, AA kepada IB, berapa jarak dia? Can you tell me? AA kepada IB, jarak terpendek, shortest distance, yes, 11. 5 tambah 6, okay, 11. Lepas tu, you see the next one. Next one, they want AA kepada IB. Okay, untuk Zakia. Wait, ah, let me see. Ya, yeah, AA kepada IB juga. Okay, tapi kamu kena lalui semua yang ni. Must pass to, kena lalui AA kepada IB. So guys, apa jarak terpanjang yang kamu boleh lihat? AA kepada IB. Can anyone tell? Apa jarak terpanjang dia? Kepada IB, Aida. Oh, ya, yeah, ya, yeah, correct, correct. 18 plus 7 plus 14, ya. Yeah. Ini adalah yang terpanjang. Okay, AA kepada IB, 39. Terpanjang. Terpendek, 11. Jadi, beza, soalan tanya beza, 28. Okay, guys. Clear? Boleh faham? So, next one, ha? 11, 16, B1. Okay, sekarang mereka pula bincang pasal cost. They talking about the cost of fuel. Bentuk dua persamaan linear. So guys, untuk Asila, can you tell me what's the cost? I mean, what's the equation? Kamu lihat wajah ni. Anyone? Who can give the equation? Persamaan dia. Yes, correct. Okay, kamu ambil dua ni tambah. Okay, you must know X and Y represent what lah. Okay, kat sini, 195 untuk pergi. 197 for return, balik. So, katakan pergi to X, balik to Y. Okay, X is going, Y is coming back. So, going guys, berapa kilometer? 19 plus 27. Okay, dari TK ke TT. Ini mula, ini akhir. So, going is 26 lah. 19 plus 7. So, 26x. Balik. Berapa untuk balik? 23 lah. And to start is balik. Return journey. So, 26x plus 23y equal to 85. Okay, mengapa 85? Cost dia. The total cost is 85. Okay, 
Jadi guys, kamu kena tulis ah x equals to price of 195. Kamu kena tulis anggapan yang kamu buat. X tu mewakili harga 195. Y tu mewakili harga 197. Okay, this the assumption you guys make. Okay, this one, can anyone form me? Second equation, persamaan kedua. Wah, not bad, ah, huh? Is that it? Okay, let me check. Yeah, correct. Correct. Okay. 23x ini adalah pergi dari TK ke TT balik 27. Okay, jadi 23x plus 27y equal to 88.5. Itu sahaja untuk satu. Lepas tu, how to find this guys? Cari nilai x dan y. Persamaan serentak. Kamu selesaikan dua persamaan ni, solve it simultaneous. Substitution or elimination. Mana-mana pun boleh. So what answer you guys get? Kalau kamu selesaikan yang ni. What is your answer? X and Y. Uh, 23 times 1 point. Uh, Haida, I don't get your meaning. Oh, you telling how... Oh, salah. Okay, never mind. You tell final answer. Jawapan akhir. Because yang ni very basic how to solve. Just want to see you can get the answer or not. Yes, correct. Okay, X is RM 1.5. Y equals to RM 2. How to know these two answers are correct, guys? Macam mana kamu boleh tahu dua ni jawapan betul? How? Yes, you substitute back your answer into persamaan yang kamu buat. Tapi pastikan persamaan ni betul dululah. Condition is your answer must be correct. Baru kamu gantikan yang ni akan betul. Kalau ke atas salah, bawah tu salah. Okay, top question wrong. This one definitely wrong lah. So pastikan persamaan always correct. Okay, guys. Kita dah habis. Are you all clear for today's class? Eh, cepat tau. Very clear. Huh? Kamu boleh ikut tak? Saya cakap pantas macam ni. Can follow ah? Huh? I rasa saya cakap pantas. Yes, three days lah. Itu sebab saya cakap pantas. Nak bagi kamu motivated a bit. Kena solve cepat-cepat. Ah, Dalam exam ini, tempo lah yang kamu kena buat. Tak boleh perlahan-perlahan kena cepat macam ni. Baru kamu boleh complete. Okay, because you must remember kamu kena ada tiga lukisan. Three drawing. Graph. Lepas tu plan and elevation. Or jive. Maybe one more lah. So kamu kena banyak jimat masa. Okay, all the simple question. You must jimat lah. So guys, macam mana kamu tengok overall SMK, SABK ni? Senang tak? Kita dah bincang dua-dua set pun. We complete both set already. So how you find the question? Senang tak? I think so. Hopefully. Sebab SMK, SABK ni selalu ni akan keluar bentuk dia. Because majority of SPM setter are from there. Sekolah asrama. Okay, usually lah every year. Tapi jangan harap dia bentuk dia exactly 100% like this lah. SPM akan ubah sikit. Okay, they will change a bit one. Okay, but no matter how they change, dia nak ubah macam mana pun, pegang pada konsep. Remember all your konsep, no problem. How they want to change the question doesn't matter. As long your konsep tu kukuh, you can solve any question. Walaupun susah pun, konsep kamu kukuh masih boleh pun ya. Ya, correct. Maybe it'll be like that lah. Kalau kamu ikut trend dia, 2021, 2022, dia sepatutnya ikut lah untuk tahun kamu. Okay, hopefully. Hope for the best. Soalan macam ni. Who knows guys, kamu saya bincang soalan ni. Tiba-tiba satu soalan macam ni keluar. Ah, rugi lah kalau kamu tak dengar dengan betul. Sometimes they can take exactly the same question, modify sikit. Letak nilai berlainan ke, ubah struktur soalan ke. Ah, that's why. Itu sebab perbincangan soalan trial important. Because they can modify and come out that question. Nanti dalam day one kamu ingat, eh, macam pernah buat je soalan ni, ah, you'll feel like that. You already done the question somewhere, tapi kamu tak tahu dari mana kamu buat. It's actually from here. Okay guys, so hopefully the class helped lah today. Okay, so make sure you guys try out the three more set remainder. Ah. Can lah guys, tiga lagi set saja kita akan bincang. Lepas ni bye-bye dah. Okay, only three more, remember. Yes, boleh ya. Ah. Okay, so make sure if you got friends still want to join, boleh invite lah. 
pada kelas saya okay because three more day only lah okay and one more thing good luck lah for those taking sejarah or maths lah good luck okay never mind final day kita safe for all the good luck wishes final day final class monday next week next week monday is our final class sehari sebelum paper match next week monday yes esok ada tomorrow i think we discuss on saya pun dah lupa paper apa antara kelantan kedah atau negeri sembilan saya dah lupa antara tiga negeri ini either one of these 